Hey everybody, so what we're looking at here is a um, 980 SSB with uh, some of the secret sauce attached and uh, running over there. Um, so uh, basically this is what we get when we have, just try to get to where we can see the face of the radio here, um, this is what we get when the um, the radio is locked. I don't think this is going to be visible, but when the when the PLL is unlocked, this will flash, um, and it will flash in TX as well. Um, it just sort of goes goes wonky, um, and then it'll eventually lock, which it is right now. And what you'll see is where this thing is just rolling okay and I'm not sending it any data um, this is just at power on because it, it's expecting to get something so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to power cycle this uh, I'm not feeding it power from here I'm actually feeding it power from here um, and um, you probably know when I power cycle it you'll see the uh, uh, link between the um, uh, between the programmer and the uh, uh, and the micro uh, sever as it just did, and then reinitialize when I power it back up. Now nothing's changed on the radio. It still says channel one, you know. But um, if I'm correct, I should have sent the same data as channel one. Well, not quite. <laughs> this is actually my first go at with this uh, new code. So, um, anyway, not quite. Um, so what I'm going to do, in theory, I should be able to, since uh, I'm the the, the um, this isn't controlling it, so I can change this thing all day long. So you see, it's channel 32 now. And it still ain't moved. Um, the math isn't quite right, obviously. So if I rotate this, um, now it's gone way somewhere else. So long story short, um, I'm going to try to key the radio up and turn the knob. And... You can see I'm just going up in channels. Um, I've got to work out the math. Um, but you get the idea. That's pretty much the top end. Um, I programmed it for 100... Uh, what did I do here? 100 steps of... Uh, 10 kilohertz so um, you know rotating the knob will go up and down 100 currently 100 channels of course in, in order um, because the this PLL doesn't have any notion of channels um, it just it just knows uh, uh, it just knows stuff to synthesize um, now I need to work on the calculations because this actually has an oddball um, uh, crystal in it. It's got a 10.2417 megahertz crystal in it. So the data sheet has, uh, you know, the formula, but I've got to tweak the uh, the formula a little bit. So anyways, um, that's this with the secret sauce. Not the bus pirate, but, um, you know, so there you have it. It's been officially hacked time to move on <laughs> and uh, oh about the uh, the last video where everybody uh, where I was toying around and knocking knocking off my leads I gotta be careful with these damn mini grabbers because they will um, they'll jump off and they'll short something out where I was mucking around with this PLL that ain't the right PLL I was actually trying to see who would um, who would pick up on it and uh, uh, this morning, somebody did pick up on it and say, you know, I don't think that's the one for the CB. 
You're absolutely correct. That one is. I just wanted to see. And I'm not going to uh, sell the code for $10,000. Yes, I had somebody ask me uh, to buy the code. At that, Actually, at that point, I hadn't written any code. What I was doing, guys, to, to fiddle with it is using a bus pirate. Um, and I was just sending it commands. Um, but now I've got a real program. You know, lots and lots and lots and lots of lines of code. So, um, that said, um, till next time. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and uh, if anybody else has any other radios they would, they would like me to freaking crack, uh, I love a challenge. And this one really wasn't that much of a challenge. So, um... Uh, Including the countermeasures that they have. They have countermeasures in this, okay? That will cause the radio to do disastrous things to itself, like kill its own EPROM. Um, yeah. And this is the second radio, because the first radio I killed the EPROM on it. So I've got to copy the EPROM from this and put it in the second radio. Um, this is the one that I'm actually trying to keep nice, as you can see by the... Uh, uh, covering the uh, bezel with this uh, with this tape. So um, anyway, um, I don't know where to go from here. Um, mounting is an issue in here. Um, I've got to replace the MCU that's on here. Uh, that's under this plate, and I don't really know how I'm going to do that. Um, you know, because I want the display to reflect where we're at. So, anyways, if anybody has any suggestions, I'm all ears. Anyways, till next time, guys.